the time is um, 5.18 in the morning. It's another night of uh, not sleeping. Um, sometimes it happens. Uh, this is college cooking. Um, with uh, this time, uh, we are out of this ice back and need this spray my ankle. Also, I'd like to... Okay, I'll save it for later. Um, we are out of pizzas. So I ate the last one today. But you've already seen that, so it's just a great opportunity. Everything's an opportunity. Just go in the garbage. Um, I'm going to have a lot of trouble being funny on this show, so it's probably not going to end up being very funny at all. Take it for what you want. Just informative. It's kind of the angle. I'll take here. It's fucking 5.20 in the morning. I haven't fucking slept. Just take, just take it for what you want. So, see. Um, we're going to need the stove. But you see, this George Foreman's in the way. It's big as fuck. It's my George Foreman, and I may have put it there. Actually, I didn't. I might have. I, I don't I'm not sure. I actually need to move that. Over. And it's got a little grease trail. It's got a little grease on my hands now. Fuck. So. So for learning from each other, what's happened is, um, because I didn't clean my little George Foreman right away. Do that real quick while I'm talking. Um, by the way, the best way to do this, I'll, I'll demonstrate this one in another clip sometime is actually while it's still hot is to clean it but all they put is ham on there and pierogies actually to cook that earlier um but the best way to clean it is while it's hot and with a paper towel and some water uh, some water just brush it over and then wipe it off and then everything all the crud gets off really nice just shut it on um so we have nothing in here, I just showed you that. And I'm pretty sure our fridge is devoid of any dinner, huge type meal type stuff. Again, I'm trying to, attempting to reset my sleep schedule. Okay, looks like we got quite a few choices here. Well, to keep it interesting, I'm going to not pick Mayfun, I think that's Jason's. Pretty sure he likes it. Yeah, because I don't want to fucking. Yeah, he likes that rice noodle shit. Um, anyway, we tend to use this sauce. It is. We go to Trader Joe's because I am so fucking tired of ragu. Um, it is Trader Jotos, which is, um, uh, the, the Pokemon. J Pokemon Johto with Tracy. I'm pretty sure Tracy was from the 80s. I think you saw his shirt, man. That was a pretty bright shirt. So you thought I was going to call Tracy Tracy um, a homosexual, but he's not. He's not. He, he, he takes pictures, dude. I know I know a guy who takes pictures. He's not He's not homosexual. Um, and uh, so, okay, so tomato basil. Uh, yeah, it's a, the cheapest per ounce. It's good that Jason's a human calculator, so... Basically, I don't have to worry about, uh, you know, doing the calculations of how, what's the cheapest per, per ounce. But ragu gets very tiresome. Let me show you how tiresome it's like. So tiresome. Like, so tiresome. Um, I'm going to put that knife over, but that, those scissors away. Thing. Um, what was the thing? I was saying that uh, ragu gets very tiresome. You get very... It's cheap, and you could buy it in bulk, and you could buy all this goddamn pasta, this brown pasta crap from, uh, from fucking Costco and these fucking things. I don't do that shit because that's just fucking, you get so tired of the fucking just straight up pasta with nothing in it, no specialties. When you go to Trader Joe's, you could spend a little bit more money, maybe 50 more cents per meal, for the meal and get like some really interesting stuff. So, you know, go for the tomato, go there, and there's a huge variety of sauces to pick there. So, let's go look at what 
Costco has to offer. Really, for two bucks, you're getting this tortellini. The dry stuff is actually a lot cheaper than the frozen stuff, but with the frozen stuff from Trader Joe's, you can get, like, you pay, like, three fifty, and you can get, like, a good s anywhere from 600 calories to, let's say, 600 to, like, a thousand for, like, two bucks. It's, like, for, uh, for the dry and uh, refrigerated type pasta. Um, but when it comes to dry pot, the dry pasta, uh, this actually has five times 260 calories for $2. That's over a thousand for $2. Realize that, get that through your head. You could cook this multiple ways, like with oil and, and, um, and garlic, and some uh, garlic powder, or you could just do, um, uh, garlic powder, Parmesan cheese, or you could just go that way. But that, so what I have is we have always, we have a huge thing of olive oil, just, just in case we run out of these little pasta bottles, right? But get ragu until you get tired of it, I guess. Um, I bought one of these, right? And I cook these quite a bit. They take 15 minutes to cook, which might be good for the length. So let's stay. Ooh. This time I want the one without colors. So let's go for the for the eight times two thirty calories. That's quite a bit of calories. We could eat one quite a bit. So pasta is a, should be a staple of the college diet, especially because I don't care about. Um, all I care about is hit. All you need to care about, okay, if you're me, is hitting your caloric minimum. Right, and what I did now is I put the, I should show that, okay, I'm just gonna take that off and go from there. Okay, so there is a tray in here, but that's not too bad. I'll have to do the upside down thing again. So you're filling it with hot water, because it's a good idea to fill it with hot water. Um, it down. It's hard to actually hold that up while you're doing it, so it's a good idea to kind of lay it down while you're filling it with hot water. That's pretty good. It's almost so hot. Now you you might be thinking, why fill it all the way to the top? Well, the reason you want to fill it all the way to the top is because um, basically the reason you want to fill it all the way to the top is. What's the Let's turn on the heat first before I explain why you want to fill it with water. Well, water's going to escape, right? Science says that water boils and it turns into to gas. And you hear that crackling? That's because of um, the fact that there's water on the bottom of the, of the pot. You don't need to worry about that. Sometimes when you load stuff into pots, just, it's going to happen. Um, there's a lot of good information in this that people probably already know if they cooked they didn't have their mom cook all their food for them before they went off to college. And um, so you have, you know, this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to throw a dash of salt. What's a dash mean? I don't know. Like that much, a little less. Let's say that much. All right? You want to throw it in there? Maybe a little bit. All right? And you just kind of let that be. And I, my roommate last year got me fucking angry when he told me that. Oh no! Wait, first let's cover this pot. It's dumb to boil water without outside of a covered pot. Really, really dumb. Even if you can't find a cover that fits, just pick, take any one. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so I had a roommate last year, and so that water's gonna get boiling, so I really got full of in. Just really good information. Get one of these salt things. 
really useful. You could even use a salt shaker or whatever, but like, I mean, just get this. You don't really need a salt shaker for anything other than if you're like some guy who likes to put salt on all his food, which is cool, I guess, if you want to be a heart attack man. Um, so let's talk. All right, so last semester I have had this roommate and he was like, no, you put the salt after you put in the pasta. No, like, yeah, like after it's boiling. No, the whole point is, is that you put the salt in and that raises the boiling temperature of the water, right? It makes it harder to, for it to boil. And why is that a good thing? Because that means the water is much hotter when it comes to that boil than it would be if you just add it later. The salt doesn't add any flavor because it's gonna be poured out. It's not absorbed really. It's too little to matter even if it's absorbed slightly, um, right? The whole point is raise the boiling temperature, make the water hotter, make the pasta cook better, right? Um, rather than it being in uh, water that's, that's like not as hot, but it's just, um, but it's still bubbling all over the place. So it's getting hit and it's getting thrown up all over the place. You got a lot of air bubbles going around. It's not really cooking as nicely as it would in hot, the hottest temperature you can really get it. And I heard that depending on your elevations, you have different boiling temperatures. I think if you're higher, you have a higher boiling temperature. Let's go with that. Um, looks like, always check your fridge if you have a sauce left over and right there and um this is the tortellini from trader joe's just, you might think that i'm just like like a lonely girl right i was created by trader joe's to buy their food but last time i did acne the three dollar pizza um but what i have to say for that is chat, my methodology involves you go to acme right and uh first you go to Acme, right? Because Acme is going to be the place where you get your awesome, just great frozen foods. You're going to get like, you're going to get deals where you're going to get like, for a single dollar, you can get like, like maybe like even 600 calories, maybe sometimes, right? And you can get like really cool foods because then that you don't have to really prepare that hard, like pierogies or um, what else? What else other than pierogies? Um, what I get? I got pierogies. I got the Swedish meatball thing um, for like a two bucks for like for like no no it was like a dollar for like four hundred forty calories, literally a dollar. Um, and Acme doesn't charge the tax, and neither does Trader Joe's on anything because it's like prepared food. It's it's like like not prepared foods or whatever. It's a grocery store. They don't put tax on shit. Kmart does put tax on stuff when you go up, so be aware of that. Um, I guess you guys should be aware that this is for a U.S. audience, maybe in Pennsylvania, and not for Nova students because I'm a Nova student. Oh, I probably should have gone the other way, and I don't really fit the stereotype because I have long hair and I'm Indian, and uh, I, 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 my I'm, my attire is now. this okay so what was i saying so my methodology involves go to go to go to acme check their frozen food section even like just look around i like to wander stores it's kind of a favorite pastime of mine i you, you, you think oh john's making a fucking joke no i'm being serious i really do like to wander uh grocery stores that's why i don't like to go with anyone else unless they are wanderers of grocery stores too because i'm kind of like a I like to shop. I like to look around. I like to see what, I don't know if I, it's a relaxing experience. Um, some people are like that, so don't be afraid to ask your roommates or anything if they like that. Other people aren't, and other people are a pain in the ass to shop with, which you also need to be aware of. Uh, so find a good shopping buddy, because they're going to make your life that much better. Um, one time, maybe I'll record that. Um, so we're starting to get some kind of boil here, but just standing here is kind of dumb. If I were you, 
go watch a movie. No, not a movie. Go watch a TED Talk. Go on Hulu. Watch an episode of Family Guy. Yeah, I like Family Guy. It's like the one TV show I watch other than The Office and Always Sunny. They're all good shows. I enjoy them. And if there's any good YouTube videos that you're subscribed to, go on there. But TED Talks, are, you, you, you'll, you'll be good. Um, unless you, you hate TED Talks, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't watch this video. Because I hate you. Um, anyway, so uh, this pot, actually, let me tell you some information about this pot, comes to a rapid boil very quickly. And it's because... This is bought from Kmart. It's a pot set that Jason had gotten. And it's the metal is just so thin that even when I load it with hot water from this guy, like the pot itself is burning hot. Like it just it conducts heat just fantastically. It's amazing how quickly this pot boils. So consider using a really thin pot that you could that actually is meant for boiling. Make sure. Um uh, when you're boiling things. It makes a big difference when you're when you want like pasta really quick, you know. Um, so I'm okay. Let's let's put it this way. Here's the methodology: you go to Acme, check their frozen foods. Check elsewhere, you know. Get I mean get I mean check also you know if you feel like it, buy bread, peanut butter and jelly. Um, bread is a very cheap thing to to make, but it also requires way more prep. And the returns aren't really that strong because, I mean, well, so, sure, you get the calories, but you're hungry after you eat a peanut butter and jelly. I don't care what you have to say. So, um, I'm not a big fan of preparing sandwiches all the goddamn fucking time. Especially when Subway is having a $2 six-inch deal going, which is awesome. Um, so, let's uh, think about, okay, so... What you do, check out the frozen section, head to Trader Joe's, and then what you do from there is under, all your meals have to be under $3.75, okay? And you could eat well, and you could find some good shit, right? All your meals have to be under $3.75, and, and they have to be at least 600 calories. If they don't meet that, don't get it. That's all. That's it. So 300, so at least 600 calories for every $3. That's all you have to know. Um, which is very easy to find with the pasta at Trader Joe's because Trader Joe's has great pasta selection. Um, okay, and we're at the boil already. I didn't think I'd be able to give enough content for that. So what you want to do is you want to move that over. Okay, don't, you don't want to put the lid back on. Well, what's that? And I like to lower it slightly, slightly, yeah. Um, but we got some really boiling, hot, really hot boiling water. Why, why do we, why is the water so fucking hot? Because we didn't add the salt after it started to boil, because that, all that would do, would just make it stop boiling. You could try that, too. Like, I could even show you right now, actually. Uh, no, I'm not going to ruin this. But, you could just, you just ruin it. Okay, we need to cut this open. So... Children, why do the why why does that scissors not work? Because it's they're kitchen scissors, and I think they're made mainly. Um, mainly, mainly to cut through like meat or food and stuff. So I don't want to use that for plastic bags all the time. It might not come handy. So we opened it. We're gonna do something very dangerous right now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna actually do the upside down thing. Don't do that. Don't do that. It's a bad idea. So don't worry if it falls anywhere. It's gonna go in fucking boiling water.
I know people who fucking, they get angry. It's like, they're like, oh, there's a hazard zone here. Make sure no pasta fell under the thing, because then the smoke alarm's going to go off, because that pasta's going to catch fire. I just checked. We're all good. I probably should have shown you that. But I checked under there. And I didn't hear anything going there, and you want to avoid that, so pour slowly if you can, okay? Like, the best way to do it is create, like, a really smaller, a much smaller opening, and then pour slowly. And you want to be stirring that, and then to minimize dishes, what you do is use, you want to, you want to just use the fork that you were going to eat the pasta with for that, because you can't really use that to stir it up, right? So, and that's the only other utensil that we have going, right? So... Let's stir it up. Right, and it's, it already started to stick to the bottom. Of it. I didn't really show how hard it was to get that stuff up. But, but we want to set the timer right away. 16 minutes. I suggest about 17. No, 16 actually. This, this, these, this cooks quick, especially when you got it on high boil. And hopefully my rights don't wake up to that. Um, but when all the pasta boils, it actually is rising. That means it's, 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 that pasta is getting cooked. After about 10 minutes, start tasting the pasta. Just go. It's a fun little thing to do. You're going to be tasting it. You're going to enjoy it. You're going to have fun. Let me put this sauce back. Mm all rising that's that might be one of two things it might be because the water's boiling or it might be because the pasta is actually getting cooked the, the pasta is cooked and done some pasta actually when it rises to the top it means it's done so remember trader joe's great pasta for cheap cheap and you get some awesome stuff tortellini um let me show you some of the stuff i actually picked up um green, green is one of my favorite ones. I haven't even eaten this yet, but this looks really good, right? It just looks good. I'm actually hungry looking at it. I wish I cooked it, actually. But I wanted to show you, like, 4 times 220 calories. You know how that was? It was 2 bucks. Also 2 bucks. 2 bucks for what? 4 times 200 calories. 800 calories. And my one of my staples of almost every week, gnocchi. And I look at gnocchi, and you don't think that it's going to be easy to cook. And I've stopped stirring that because everything's pretty much boiling, like fast enough to push everything out, so you don't have to stir. But, I mean, do it do it every three minutes or so. That's being that's that's being safe. Sometimes I I'll tell you I'll tell you the truth. Uh, there's times I've never stirred. If you're gonna do that, put it on the lower heat and put it on for a longer time. Um, so you have the gnocchi, and the gnocchi is two dollars for about five times 248 calories, and it's it tastes fantastic. It's so filling, and oh god, I that literally, if you if you're my body type, which is about five nine, 150 pounds, mostly fat, so. You, I'm not going to show you my my hairy belly. Actually, I will. Boom. Take it. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I just showed you that. Um, and also, I'm I'm gluten sensitive a little bit, so you could, they have gluten-free pasta for, like, super cheap. This corn pasta, super cheap, two bucks. If you're gluten sensitive, this is for you. I should probably put that in the description. If anyone ever watches this, um, so uh, and you want to clean up after after yourself if you're a roommate. Um, so what I just uh, suggest is you come home from class, right, and you're frustrated and you're like, dude, what do I do? 
what do I do now? You're like, oh, okay, you come from class, you need to, you want to sit down and you, because you, you just had a fucking long day, right? And so what you do is, is just throw up a boil, right? Throw in the pasta, go relax, right? Because it's low maintenance, go relax, okay? Just sit back, relax. You know, if you get so lazy, you don't want to do something, fuck it, don't do the salt thing. Put cold water in, it doesn't matter. Just throw on the heat, put it on high, put the put the top on, and just let it roll, and make sure you're in at least the next room so you could hear when the water starts splashing out of it, okay? Um, you know, and that's really the methodology of like when pasta's really good. And it's what I try to do right now is I try to have a mix of pasta and frozen foods. And I mean, I had, what, what was my meal yesterday? I had an entire pepperoni pizza, and I had pierogies. The pierogies were two dollars for for more, over two six hundred calories. I, I you know I, I liked it so much that I I didn't want to eat all of it. That I gave I gave some of those pierogies to Jason, and I gave some of the pizza to Jason too. And the thing is, the reason I did that is because I actually bought a sandwich earlier today that day for three bucks. But if I hadn't, I would have just actually I didn't buy a sandwich. No, nope, that was all my meal take that and I offer my roommates food and sometimes they'll offer you food don't expect it from them because you offer them food okay but you know if you have some extra food just offer dude the great thing about this tortellini is that it's like this is too much food for one person this is good for about three people for a single dinner if they're eating three meals a day if they're eating one meal a day it's good for two people okay um if one or two meals a day, I you need to have a little bit more than that. Um, they need more. You need more than six hundred calories. You need at least a thousand to to feel normal. Um, uh, so, what else? What else? What else? So I threw that out. Put that to the side. And pasta has very little cleanup. Uh, right. So, I think this is done. Let's put this on top while I'm talking to you. So. I'm probably going to get greased up again. So clean your fucking George Foreman girls. Clean them well, because I didn't this time, and I got I, I paid I paid the price. I paid the price. Okay, so it's hard to get these George Foreman that well. So. so I got it. I have a final tomorrow. I shouldn't be all night staying up. But, I mean, I don't have class until, like, 2 o'clock today, so whatever. I'm going to fucking stay up. Some... Okay, so this is like a little tidbit from college. Um, what I've learned is is that well, this is a dangerous thing to do. You should not do it if you're not comfortable and you haven't really tested out and experimented with your sleep schedule, which you need to do. You need to experiment with it. You need like, and what that means is like, you don't need like a week solid of experimenting. What you need is like one week, just try like six hours of sleep a night. Try forcing yourself to do that, and you'll find out it doesn't work. What you'll end up finding out is that your, your your body rhythms are so weird and they're so all over the place that if when you're gonna feel best, there's gonna be nights where you're just not gonna want to sleep, and that's okay, because um, you could eventually you'll fall asleep if you just force yourself, like for maybe an hour or two, but that's gonna make you very unhappy. So some of those days, maybe you're better off just not sleeping that night if you really couldn't if you if you've been in bed for an hour try doing something else for a little bit really uh, and that's what i did tonight you know especially if you have time the next day to sleep at least four hours right this way when you crash because i'm gonna crash at like about seven for four hours gonna bring me 11 o'clock i'll be good to go right so sometimes it's okay just not sleeping people tell you you need to sleep right and you do you need to sleep at least four hours right and make that a nice minimum for you Get, give yourself the four hours. You need four hours, right? And, uh, but three days of doing four hours of sleep won't cut. So I kind of do this thing where I bounce between uh, all-nighters, crash, uh, and then regular sleep. And, and it, it works okay. I've actually only been doing it for two days. Okay, so I guess kitchen equipment would be kind of useful thing to do here so microwave get a good microwave if you can afford it if you can't don't worry about it okay I'm talking about to you kids who 
who have a choice in what microwave you get, get a good one when you can, okay? It's a good investment. Some of, I had a really low power microwave last semester and it sucked because it just never warmed up anything well enough. You had to like warm everything, warm it up, stir, warm it up, stir, warm it up, flip, warm up. You know, it just it was a bad scenario. It was like a defroster more than anything. And these are fucking great um, toaster ovens. What can you do with a toaster oven? You're like, oh, it's not that versatile. Okay. I don't suggest ever buying a toaster oven, okay? People have them laying around all over the place, okay? Like your family, friends, Craigslist, you'll find it, okay? But if you can get one, or your roommate, your roommate's willing to bring one, take it. Just take it. Same thing with the George Foreman. George Foreman, I would almost tell you, if you like meat enough, I would say buy it. If you like meat. Okay, if you like cook, if you like cooking burgers, if you like cooking sausage, if you like cooking hamburger meat just to make for tacos, anything like that, that thing is the best. Fish, anything, anything meat, great. And I use it to cook the pierogies, so uh, it ends up working out for me. Um, I have an advanced technique I do with the tortellini that I'm not going to show this time. It's just going to be the normal sauce tortellini with. That's it. Okay. Maybe I'll show a little bit of technique. Okay, I'll show the technique. What can I say? Okay. Mini fridges. You don't fucking need it. You don't need a mini fridge. Uh, and I'm glad it's not fucking plugged in, because if it was, I'd be fucking angry as shit right now. Um, let's start. Ooh, it's feeling sloppy. It's, I should be... I passed my limit, so I'm going to actually lower the heat because it's, it's feeling really soft by quite a bit. It's feeling super soft. I was checking if anything was scraping the bottom and just kind of cooking down there, which would really suck, but it doesn't usually do that. Don't worry about it. Uh, stirring is just really optional. That's really if you just, that's, that's something you do if you really just want better pasta. I don't think that goes for spaghetti, but for at least this. Um, microwave, you need a 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 stove, like of some sort. Oven, eh, optional. Toaster oven, awesome for cooking, like toasting your bread on the fly, cooking, baking things, like say you buy like, let me show you. Hopefully we have at least one more left. No, oh no, we got it. These. Sometimes these go on sale for pretty cheap, and they're also like syringe for chip per container, 13 times 150. I actually don't know how much that costs, so I can't tell you how good of a deal it is. All I know it's about like at least two dollars per 600. Those are biscuits, the croissants, any of those Pillsbury things that you just pop open, you just kind of like throw them over some foil, throw it, pop them in there and they will be done within like 20 minutes and you'll get yourself some really fresh croissants, fresh biscuits, oh, it's, it's awesome. So I lower the heat to the point where it's pretty much just kind of, it's not really, that's not really, the stove isn't really doing much other than keeping it warm, but the bought water is pretty much still boiling quite a bit, so it'll be fine. Hopefully the pasta's not too sloppy. So let's do a taste test. Okay, I'm cutting through the pasta way too easily. So it's done. If you if you can put your fork through it without pretty much more than just capturing it, and you could bite, it's done. Don't do that either. Please. When you, it's the only time I'll ever fucking tell you to chew with your mouth open. So make sure no one's in the fucking room because smacking is annoying and no one likes it. Anyway, let me show you how to, how to drain this thing because it's done. It's done ten, under 10 minutes. Pretty much done for 10 minutes. Can you believe that? Okay, let's turn off the timer so it doesn't work out. Wake up the room. And let's go. There. And there's the Okay, closed it. Now you can see that. Wait for it. Wait for it. Let's see how it 
good the shot is. All right, let's go. It helps to use this, but it might slip out of your hands, so watch out. And pull. Didn't work out that way. Right? You know why? That's why. No strainer necessary. And you can use it. Pour it on the. Now you can control where it's pouring, right? So pour it on the dishes that are really that your roommates f forgot to soak, because you because they hate you. Don't worry about getting. Don't worry about getting all the water. Seriously, don't worry about it. What I recommend is I didn't turn the stove off yet. If you didn't notice, but I probably should have. But you're going to want to use the heat from that, and I'll show you why. Check this out. So there's still a lot of water in there, right? And that's not really going to do much for you food-wise. Water is water is water, right? Things taste better when there's less water in them because, like, you know, you get more flavor out of out of every bite. And it's actually boiling a little bit right now, so let's, we need to throw that sauce in immediately and get some of the water out of that sauce because that uh, actually takes away a lot of the flavor of the sauce, too. method of adding your sauce rather than adding your sauce after, you end up saving a lot of your sauce. So if you're like skimpy on the amount of sauce you need, it's okay. You know, it'll, it'll add enough flavor. It's good to throw like maybe a crushed pepper in there. But you hear how like squishy it is? That's because it's a lot of water. Right? So if you put it, leave it on the stove, it's, it's gonna like, you see all the steam? A lot of that water is leaving. And a lot of the pasta has pretty much been covered. Don't get sauce on this. Don't get pasta on this. Keep this as clean as possible because you're going to be able to just get straight to eating and not have to worry about doing the dishes. Unless you're an asshole and you don't do the dishes before you start eating. And your, and your roommate needs to use the pot right after you. You're a dickhead if you do that. Um, I've done it before, but like only once in a while. And I announce it to the room and I'm like, look, I'm doing this. Are you okay with that? You fucking verbalize that shit. Like a fucking man. Anyway, so a lot of the water's leaving. It doesn't really need that much pasta. It's already got a lot of cheese in the stuff. So pretty much good you're good to serve keep this clean and all you have to do is rinse this now maybe do a light scrub and uh, I don't think you need to know how to do dishes but if you do comment tell me I'll tell you how to do dishes um, uh, if you're a gamer you might appreciate that I like games. So I'm going to show you one of the games I have. That's awesome. It's a bonus. Just a bonus feature. Guilty Gear. It's a great game. Play it. Have a friend over. Play it. It's fun. You can play it while your water's boiling. With your friend. Or you play it alone. It's a fun game. It's available for PC. That's how I started to play it. And... Um, it's awesome. It's awesome. Really cool. If you like anime and you like metal, or like you think you like metal, where you just like you just like good guitar, right? Um, it's that. It's those two mixed into a video game. So anime, metal, video game. It's a pretty awesome combination for if you like that kind of thing, you know. And it's like weird anime. It's not like typical like. 
I'm watching fucking Lucky Star or any, whatever the fuck that is. Anyway, it's probably irrelevant to most of you. But tell me you're a nerd, so I know. Like me. I don't really play video games anymore. Like those. But, I mean, they're fun. And that was just tidbit for that segment. You know, just give them, give them some love. Show them a little personality. You know. Um, that's done. But I'm going to leave that on there for as long as possible. I'm actually going to leave that on there even after I serve. Now, the one thing that you might find difficult is serving that pasta um, um, f with the fork. That's just something you're just going to have to deal with. Sorry. I mean, I could try to show you, but I have no good way of doing that. If you have a good way, teach me. I'm going to start uploading this. Thank you for watching College Cooking. This has been Tortellini. This has been $2 Tortellini. 1,000 calories. 1,200 calories. Okay?